instead of telling us not to do these things, they're telling us how to avoid getting caught doing it. But we caught them just last month at a Jiffy Lube in Encino. Before taking our car here, we marked the oil filter with a happy face. A technician there tells us they're going to change the fuel filter and oil filter. So that's 207 for what now? The oil change? The oil filter, oil change, and the transmission. But watch this. They bring over a new oil filter, set it down on our car, but then a few minutes later they take it away without ever putting it in. After our visit, I found the old filter was still in there even though we'd been charged for a new one. The problem comes from... All right, if you were to ask the average person, what occupational field do you trust least? I'm sure mechanic would be somewhere in the top five. I first saw the Jiffy Lube scam report a couple years ago, and at the time it had about 70,000 views. It has more than a million now. But even back then I said to myself, you know, fuck man, this isn't helping the reputation of mechanics at all. The thing with life though is, the thing with businesses is, a, any big franchise, there's always going to be a bad one, you know, there's going to be a lot of good ones, but then there's going to be a bad one somewhere. For example, you know, a couple years ago, a couple Domino's Pizza employees, I think it was in South Carolina, but uh, they were recording themselves like blowing snot on the pizza, the dude was like putting the meat on his nutsack and then putting it back on the pizza and they were delivering it out they they're a bunch of dumbasses man they fucking recorded themselves and put it on youtube so you know they got busted i, I think they went to jail actually but uh, i'm gonna leave a link to that video but if you watch the video and look at the comments people are like fuck domino's pizza i'm never gonna eat there again but how many domino's pizzas are there out there there's like hundreds thousands of them and it's just one instance and that's life. You know, it's like, it, that stuff happens all the time. It's almost like out of sight, out of mind, man. You never know what your food service workers are doing to your food. Personally, I always go to a place where I can watch them make my food, never go through drive throughs I, I don't do that personally. But, you know, it's like our bodies adapt and our bodies, you know, no matter what people do to our food, our bodies learn how to take all of those toxins in. But if you don't like the idea of that, be like me and watch people make your food from now on. But, you know, I was never a fan of Domino's Pizza, but, you know, if someone gave me a free Domino's Pizza, yeah, sure, I'll eat it, whatever. You know, hopefully, Pete, hopefully the workers aren't blowing their fucking snot on the damn thing. But now we go to Jiffy Lube. Now, to me, this, this is a whole different animal. In the report, five out of nine Jiffy Lubes didn't do the job. Five out of nine. That's atrocious numbers. And the thing with Jiffy Lube is they're taking care of your car. You know, it's like, let's say you buy a car for $3,000, a used car for $3,000, a 10-year-old car for 3000 bucks. You know, a new car is twenty, thirty thousand dollars on average now, but even if you buy a three thousand dollar car, that's a lot of money. You know, how many people are walking around with three grand in their pocket? How many people have actually had three grand in their bank account? Three thousand bucks is a lot. So people go to Jiffy Lube, places like Jiffy Lube, to maintain their car, to maintain their investment. They want their investment to last a long time. You know, it's like going to the dentist. You expect the dentist to take care of your teeth. You go to the doctor and you expect the doctor to, you know, tell you what's wrong with you so they could fix you. You know, that's what a job is. You know, people are doing you a service. So when I saw this Jiffy Lube scam, you know, I, I was just like, this shit's wrong, man. This isn't right. You know, I'll, let, I'll leave a link throughout the duration of this video so you can watch it but uh, I was re I was reading some of the comments if you go back and read comments you know people are saying stuff like oh yeah if you don't know how to change your own oil you deserve it or you know learn how to change your own oils dumbasses but here's the thing not everyone wants to learn how to do that it's not appealing to some people you know or maybe it intimidates some people yeah you know to mechanics the oil changes nothing but you know, a car might intimidate some people, or someone might be elderly. They might be elderly with back issues, and they can't do something like that. So that's what a job is. That's what Jiffy Lube workers are paid to do, is to take care of someone's car. That's what upsets me. I, I don't like seeing people get, get taken advantage of, you know. 
especially you know when they're working hard and they're trying to do the right thing you know taking their investment in to get maintained you know they're spending their hard-earned money so that's what bothers me about this whole report you know some people can't change their own oil or just don't have the desire to or they're just intimidated so this is my advice so my advice to anyone who you know is intimidated or just can't change your own oil just learn the basics you know even ask somebody to help you have someone mark the oil filter for you have someone mark the oil filter for you and you know before you pull in pull over pull into it like a jiffy lube or something pull over on the side of the road make a quick video of here's my oil filter here's the here's where it's marked or something or do it at your house you know have someone just you know film it real fast the oil filter is marked just in case they don't do it so you know if you get your oil changed check if you know if the filter is still there marked they obviously didn't do it so now you have proof that they didn't do it so then you could talk to the manager talk to the higher ups you'll probably get a free oil change out of it and then never go back there again but just learn learn the basics learn how to check your own oil because there's a few videos on youtube where the jiffy lube employees didn't even put oil in the car and then you know people ended up destroying their engines so learn how to check your oil just learn the basics and you're all set you know then you could go in with confidence knowing they're gonna do the job you know so if they don't do the job you got a hot piece of footage right there and it helps I'm not too familiar with easy lube but you know I believe easy lube you know if you look up easy lube on YouTube they actually filed bankruptcy and I believe Valvoline took over now because they were so in debt and the reason for that is news reports so there definitely is power to protecting yourself there's power to video there's power to reports so just take care of yourself that's my advice learn the basics and just learn how to take care you know, of yourself you know watch out for yourself and you'll be okay you know you don't need to learn how to change your own oil you know it's that's, that's not your hobby that's not your thing you know it's just not your thing that's why people are employed to do that sort of thing but just keep it honest you know hopefully these guys keep it honest so you know like I said earlier like what I eat at Dom you know I'm not a Domino's fan let's use Subway I like Subway so let's say that you know there's a report on Yahoo that big ass fucking rat head found in Subway tomatoes would I still eat at Subway after that report absolutely like I said, there's a dud all the time. Hopefully, I'm not the recipient of the dud franchise. But uh, would I advise someone to go to Jiffy Lube? Fuck no. You know, like I said, like, I think it's a whole different story. That just shows the management of Jiffy Lube. Do I trust it? Fuck no. I don't think you should either. Find yourself a good mechanic. I heard Pet Boys was really good, you know. Like, uh, you know... I know a few people who go to Pet Boys and you could actually watch them do the job. Maybe they're not good. I don't know. Just find somewhere good. You'll be alright. Alright, everyone kick ass, be safe, and take it easy.